Hey Warriors, President Bob here uh, from my office in Selvesen Hall. Hope you're doing well. We're gonna try something a little different and instead of just video or emails coming out to you, uh, I'll be sending out uh, videos uh, to update you on, on information and just, uh, well, just have a little bit of a, a chat, even though it's kind of one way. Uh, but uh, just wanna say, hey, it is so great having you uh, on, on, on campus and now that we have activities going on and, you know, football had a great game, um, soccer, you know, the, the volleyball and the energy of the, uh, the, the field house, uh, and, you know, we got the, the play coming up, uh, this week I'm going tonight, uh, to, to check out, uh, girls, uh, it's just awesome. I know it's a real different semester, uh, though, and, uh, you know, we got to wear masks, we got to social distance, we got to be really good at all that stuff to keep it going. Because I know what you want is to have face-to-face -face classes. That's the way that you learn best. Uh, and that's the way our our, our faculty really enjoy uh, in engaging and uh, teaching uh, as, as well. So just a couple things uh, about that. First is uh, the Distinction between self-isolation and quarantine. If someone tests positive, they go into self-isolation for 10 days. And that's a very strict self-isolation. Uh, they should only stay in their rooms except to use uh, the, the, the bathroom and be very, very careful uh, not to uh, expose uh, anyone. Uh, but those who are exposed, remember what the definition for that is that you've, uh, someone's been uh, in close proximity within six feet uh, of someone who has tested positive uh, for 15 continuous uh, minutes. And those individuals go into quarantine, which is similar to self-isolation. You need to restrict yourself uh, to, to your room uh, and, uh, you know, go out to use the, the, the bathroom. But there is one important distinction, or really two. One, you're in quarantine for 14 days, not 10 days. Uh, and the other thing is that someone who's in quarantine, they're not infected, uh, but the potential is there to have that. So that means that they can leave the dorm room, be very careful not to be around anyone, and go for a walk, go for a run. Um, you know, you sh obviously you shouldn't be going out to uh, the, the grocery store or anything like, like that, going to, to a restaurant. Um, but it is okay for those that are in quarantine to get out and get some exercise, get some fresh air, even on chillier days like, like, to, like today. So that's all very, very uh, important. And all the details are on the website and come out for uh, in emails to you uh, as as well. But just want to review that. You know, as you know, last week, you know, we, we did see a rise in, in positive cases and exposures that went into quarantine and that uh, put us into our uh, orange status, which brought new mitigation efforts to help bring those numbers uh, down, such as grab and go meals staying only in your, your dorm room with your roommates, not having any visitors in there, being masked everywhere. When you're walking up and down the, uh, the halls of, of the dorms, you know, just masking up is so, so uh, important. And then, you know, attaching fines uh, to that, which no one likes. I don't like, I don't know anyone who, who likes that, but it just shows how important and urgent this moment is to us. And the good thing is we are seeing uh, uh, a positive impact from, from all that. The numbers are starting to, to go, go down, but we can't, we can't uh, let our foot off the, the gas. We gotta keep going strong at this. We're gonna do it for um, uh, another, another week. And we feel like we're gonna be in a much better place because of that. Because this is what we need to do to keep this semester going, to keep those activities uh, going, to keep that face-to-face -face instruction 
uh, going, not only for this semester, but for next semester as well, because this is probably going to be around for a while. And while that's unfortunate to say, that's, that's, that's what we need to be prepared for. And I know you can help us with this and do a great job and just keep this going um, so we can br continue to bring those numbers down. So uh, again, that's what I got for you today. If you have any questions for me, you can email them to waldorfpresident at uh, waldorf.edu and we'll bring those up in subsequent sessions. So for, oh, I almost forgot. You probably want a dad joke and I got one for you today. What do you call a funny mountain? Hilarious. Hilarious. Thank you. You're, you're welcome for that. Um, but uh, everyone, uh, appreciate y'all. Uh, have a wonderful day. Uh, have a great weekend. Be safe, please, always. And remember to stay positive, but test negative. Have a good one, everyone.